It's Miss Sassy Cat Story Time. Meow. Math Fables: Lessons That Count, by Greg Tang, illustrated by Heather Kaun. Dinner Guest. One spider waited patiently. At last, her web was done. Just who would come to dinner now and be the lucky one? A fly, a moth, mosquitoes would be great. It's nice to know that all good things will come to those who wait. Trying times. The sun was shining overhead. The skies were bright and clear. For two young birds safe in their nest, the time to fly was here. With wings spread wide, one bird took flight, but fluttered to the ground. The other one fell from the sky and very nearly drowned. The two birds practiced all day long until they both could fly. Sometimes the most important thing in life is just to try. Family affair. Three turtles living in the woods were always on the go. One day they headed for a pond, albeit very slow. The youngest one soon raced ahead, but accidentally tripped. The other two caught up with him and found that he had flipped. They quickly grabbed him by the shell and righted him once more. All three agreed wholeheartedly. That's what family's for. Going nuts. Four squirrels frolicked in the leaves one brisk fall afternoon, when suddenly it dawned on them that snow was coming soon. We haven't any winter food! Three frightened squirrels cried. I guess we'd better get to work! A prudent one replied. Two squirrels raced to gather nuts and made a great big mound. The other two then buried them in stashes underground. All four slept very well that night, no longer feeling scared. They learned it's wise to plan ahead and always be prepared. Midnight snack. Five smart raccoons set out one night to get a bite to eat. They came upon a garbage can, a most delicious treat. Two quickly grabbed it by the rim and pulled it on its side. We're going to have a feast tonight! The other three all cried. Before we eat, let's first give thanks. Four thoughtful raccoons said. The youngest one put down the food and bowed his little head. We offer thanks. All five began for each unfinished plate. Leftover food and chicken bones. We so appreciate. Tools gold. Along the rocky ocean coast, in water clear and blue, six otters like to swim and play and look for shellfish too. One afternoon, two saw some clams along the ocean floor. Four quickly dove to scoop them up, then hurried back for more. These shells are hard to pry apart. Five puzzled otters sighed. Try striking them against a rock. A clever one replied. A group of three tried this technique and found it worked quite well. The other three then followed suit and opened every shell. The six smart otters were content; all had their fill of clams. They each had also learned to use a tool and not their hands. Gone with the wind. The autumn air was growing cool. The days were shorter too. For seven monarch butterflies, a trip was overdue. We should have left here weeks ago! Five butterflies exclaimed. We hate to say we told you so! Two know-it-alls proclaimed. They had to get to Mexico before the winter freeze. One led the other six in flight atop a southern breeze. Their journey would be very far, a thousand miles or more. The monarchs flew both day and night in groups of three and four. At last, all seven made it home, too tired to celebrate. They vowed next spring to be on time and not procrastinate. Profile and courage. 
One hot and sultry afternoon down at the tidal pool, eight crabs were buried in the sand, just trying to stay cool. The water here is much too warm, five weary crabs complained. The sun is very strong today, the other three explained. A group of four then grabbed their things and headed to the shore. The others followed after them, a second group of four. As seven stood by cautiously, one daring crab jumped in, but soon got hammered by a wave that caught him on the chin. The smallest crab swam out to help. Now in the sea were two, with six left cheering on the shore this bold and brave rescue. The crabs at last were one big group. Again, they numbered eight. They all then thanked their lucky stars for having friends so great. Antics. One warm and sunny afternoon, the month was late July. Nine ants were rather hungry when a picnic they did spy. Three crept ahead to take a look, while six ants stayed behind. Some crackers, cheese, a loaf of bread, such treasures they did find. This food's too big for us to lift, ain't worried ants complained. We'll have to work together then, the oldest one explained. With one in front and one behind, two carried home the cheese, while seven picked the loaf right up as easy as you please. The ants were happy as could be and soon returned for more. They carried two big crackers home in teams of five and four. When finally their task was done, the nine ants felt just great. They each had learned the meaning of the word cooperate. River sticks. Ten beavers left for work one day. They had a lodge to fix. All marched along in single file in search of broken sticks. A group of seven raced ahead and found a fallen tree. They quickly gnawed off all the limbs, then called the other three. How will we get these branches home? Nine puzzled beavers cried. We need to dig a small canal, a clever one replied. So six went back and dug into the river's muddy shore. They soon had made a waterway right to the other four. The trees were now a cinch to move. Five floated them downstream. The other five then built a roof, the best you've ever seen. Their home was nearly finished now with few things left to do. Eight quickly patched the holes with mud while cracks were filled by two. At last, the beaver's job was done, and ten let out a cheer. They each had earned the title of domestic engineer. Keep practicing the language of math, and you'll be a math whiz in no time. This was Math Fables, lessons that count. Thanks for watching Miss Sassy Cat Story Time. Hit that subscribe button, and let's read another book.